Hi, Wasatch fifth graders. We're going to do kind of a special thing just for you guys um, about the Island of the Blue Dolphins. Uh, we were kind of thinking about how we could apply some new techniques that you could do at home, which is always the tricky part, to the Island of the Blue Dolphins. And what came to mind is that book cover, they've had many different covers. The book cover when I was a little girl that reminds me of it is this one. And so it kind of is a mono print, and we haven't done mono prints, and so I thought we'd try that. It's really a simple form, and it's really kind of immediate, but it has a couple of steps to it, which makes it more interesting than just directly drawing a dolphin or directly drawing um, the main character girl in the story. So to start, you need to have a little tempera paint and or whatever, acrylic, whatever you have, um, you can do it with several different things, wax paper or a uh, Ziploc bag or even um, uh, tin foil. And I've just drawn a square on a paper so I have an idea of the parameters that I want to do. And the first thing to do is you have a little um, paintbrush and you put just a little, say I want it to be really beachy and broad, you can put whatever colors you want but I've got a little blue and a little um, white and I put it straight on my, this will be kind of my palette, right? And I'm running out of paint, so that's tricky, but not tricky enough that I can't overcome it. So I get a little bit of blue and a little bit of white paint and then I just kind of spread it around in a really random way and keep it really thick. You'll have to work kind of quickly because this dries quickly. If you were working with printer's ink, which it's typically done with, or oil paint, it'll last a long time and you'll have a long time. So then I turn around my paintbrush and just use the back side to either um, define the shape of a, a girl or, and you can do it over a few times, or the shape of a, a dolphin or just some random wonderful lines in to be a background. So once you've made your lines and kind of have that figured out, then the print part of it, the mono print is, it's only one time, that means mono, and you set it down on there and you rub around um, like you would with a brayer or a roller on a real print that has ink and then pull it off. And that kind of gives you, it's one time, you can't really print it again, it's lifted up that uh, paint that you have on there, but it's left this really cool uh, imprint, and we're gonna use that as a background and figure out some dolphin silhouettes and cut those out to put on top of it, or have the dolphin silhouette cut out of this piece of background and put on another background that you paint as well. So there's a couple of different ways of doing this, negative space and positive space. So you'll use this as a cutout being the positive space of the dolphin that you put on another background, or you can um, draw a silhouette or cut out or research rather you draw your own, but you can get on the internet all sorts of great silhouettes of dolphin or fish, and then um, place that silhouette in black paper or in your own painted black paper over the top of this great background. So kind of depends if you want that to be background or foreground. I'll do one more on a piece of uh, Ziploc bag, just to show you another way of doing it in a, instead of a background way, in a foreground way. I put so much paint on this. The trouble is if you get it too thick, you can't make lines in it. And so I'm gonna at the same time make some blue over here and hopefully get two monoprints before it dries up. This is a little bit sketchy. I always do things a little bit sketchy. So on this one, I'll just do some background waves 
maybe an island feel, a sun, something just really kind of abstracty. And on this one, I think I'll try to think about what a dolphin shape is and do a direct dolphin shape. You can also try to draw that on your paper so that you have something to trace. That's getting gummed up, so I'm gonna have to clean off my brush. So his bottle nose, see how I can fix it as I go along? Kinda comes down, they have this forehead and then this bottle nose. And I've gotta make sure my brush is clean so that shows up. Well, we'll give it a try, you never know. And this is just old reused paper, printer paper that I've had. It doesn't need to be anything special and that way you can reuse stuff. So I'm gonna put that down really quickly and this down before it dries. And it's kind of exciting to see what comes up when you pull it up. Well, that's a good background. You can put a dolphin on top of. And this, it's not the best dolphin, but we can use it. You can see if I didn't get it so thick, you could be able to see those white lines a little bit better. So I've done this um, before and made a few. You can also use thicker things. A really great thing to use is a Q-tip because it picks up, like a cotton swab, it picks up the paint so well and leaves great big thick lines. And I was kind of doing a face and hair of a girl on this one, and you can see the dolphin on this one. And I graded the colors a little bit more on here. And just something really simple, you can do them over and over, just kind of waves and a sun. Another kind of face one that's very primitive looking. And um, so you get kind of all sorts of things. So if I were to take this to use as a background, and say trace this dolphin on it, then, um, and you can trace it any, you know, you can cut out that dolphin from the internet and trace it. You can just kind of freehand it and get an idea of what a dolphin looks like. And then um, if I cut this out, could be prepared with my, nifty scissors but I drew that on the back of this print that I just did then just carefully more carefully than I am you will cut out your dolphin silhouette and uh, it can go that can be the positive space on a background that's really much more plain. Or you can cut this out and put it on um, a, put a black, so you cut this out on a black paper and put it on a background that's like that, which would make it really pop out. It'll end up looking a little bit like this, but all homemade. So, and it's neat if you vary the black, this is so, you know, all black that it's not as interesting as if you painted black and then cut it out. So anyway, I'll um, come back and show you my final pieces, how I put them together. But it's kind of a process of figuring out these mono prints and playing with the paint and whatever materials you decide to use. And I'll see what I can put together and see what you do. Okay, so I hope we've had a lot of fun doing some mono prints. Um, putting the paint on Ziplocs or wax paper. I've come up with a whole bunch of different um, things. It's kind of addictive once you start doing it. I changed some colors because as I'm looking at, um, you know, I cut out from one of my mono prints a dolphin shape. I cut out, also I painted a nice back, black background and cut out a silhouette dolphin shape. So I'm putting that on my, you can put that on a light blue. There wasn't an, quite enough um, 
value change here. It felt like that kind of got lost and that's why I turned to this more sunset view and then I cut out kind of some waves as well. So this can turn a little bit into a collage monoprint uh, situation. You can even, even, you know, put a few, arrange them however you want, a little sunshine or or moon glow thing going on there. Anyway, have some fun with it. There's a lot of different directions you can go and um, make your kind of Island of the Blue Dolphin monoprint uh, as crazy as you want it to be. Also, if you don't happen to have the paint that you need for monoprint, which is acrylic or poster paint, the thicker paints, you can really just paint a background in watercolor and paint a foreground really directly, do some uh, scratching in that paint and then cut out for your collage. So no problem, if you can't do the monoprint, just do it with watercolor directly and it still ends up looking about the same and you've got just a different process. So I hope you have fun. I'll zoom with you uh, when I get to.